Hey gang, it's Paisley Computer, finally back with a new video. I want to show you how to build some sound panels. Uh, I want to do a quick shout out to Two-Legged Zoos, my buddy John out of Urbana, Illinois. He's also owner of Green Island Gardens, growing fresh, locally grown food, uh, again, right out of Urbana. So first thing you're going to want to do to build these panels is get you a 2x2 two two foam board. Uh, I got these from Home Depot. Uh, I used my fancy little pot lid there to uh, kind of round off the corners and uh, just used a serrated steak knife to, uh, to kind of slice off the edges and to round things out a little bit. Um, I don't know if this adds any acoustical properties to the panels, but to me it just looks nicer because they're going to be hanging in my living room. So you can see there, I uh, nipped off both edges, kind of rounded out the corners, again just using my little pot lid as a stencil. I then actually sanded things down. Now don't sand these in your house because you can see all the gross dust and everything. I did wear a mask while doing this, but it was a complete nightmare cleaning it all up. But I just sanded them off just so it kind of looked a little bit more like fabric. Again, they're going to be hanging in my, my house, so just want them to look kind of nice. Um, next. I wanted to coat these with a little bit of glue. I, I thought because this is a material that's going to be shaking like jello, in my mind, adding a little bit of glue on the outside kind of would work like almost like a drum head and uh, help reverberate some of that sound out. So you're going to go ahead and uh, mix up some wood glue and some Elmer's glue. Uh, wood glue because it. Uh, it dries very, very strong. Elmer's glue because it dries very clear. And then once you start mixing it up, you'll notice it turns into a gross curdled mess. Um, just continue mixing and mixing until you finally give up and realize that this is a terrible idea that mixing these two glues together will actually not achieve the thing that you're looking for. So the really quick solution here is uh, don't do this. Um, it didn't work out for me at all so I eventually just kind of gave up and uh, just get yourself some Elmer's glue that stuff's gonna dry nice and clear uh, but it's a little bit thick it's not going to spread very easily so just go ahead and uh, add a little bit of water uh, there's no magic magic recipe here just kind of eyeball it I just wanted the consistency of like a paint so um, just thin it out with a little bit of water, add a little bit of more glue if you need it, and then add a little bit more water if you need it. So just kind of keep going back and forth and stirring it up. Again, you're looking for the consistency of paint. Um, and then once you have your kind of paint-esque glue, go ahead and get your, uh, your sponge brush there and start coating the whole thing. Um, you know, I was just basically trying to get a nice layer across the whole thing, nice and even. Uh, you want to cover the entire panel best you can. Um, you can kind of see on the edge there, I didn't paint it all the way because, you know, you just need to be able to hang on to it. You can come back and fill it in later. Uh, make sure you put down some newspaper on the ground just so you don't drive your landlord nuts by getting glue all over your kitchen floor. Um, and then just continue painting the whole thing. Very simple process here. Just make sure it's nice and even. The foam board will make it very clear. Uh, where you may have not have covered things. Now, when you're put, gonna put your mounts, I had this idea that I was going to use thumbtacks, uh, but once I actually got the thumbtacks out, I kind of thought to myself, well, this is gonna be a vibrating mass. Maybe the thumbtack, like the pin portion, is not long enough to kind of really hold the board. So I found these other nails just, you know, happened to be in my toolbox. Um, you can see here the nail is actually about twice as long as that thumbtack. So, uh, you know, I just decided let's go with the nails over the tacks. Um, I could sink that nail in a little bit further and a little bit, a uh, little deeper. So to make sure it's going to hang onto that board um, the best that it can. So to get the nail in there obviously you want to measure out just make sure it's it's you know even you're gonna put two nails in the top make sure they're evenly spaced um, so what I did is I pushed the nail in about oh I'd say a third of the way I didn't go completely all the way in 
Um, I just wanted to make a preliminary hole, and you can see here I uh, filled that hole with glue. Um, that's just to make sure that nail isn't going to go anywhere. Again, we're just using foam board here, but because this board is going to be vibrating, I just wanted to make sure that that nail had something that's going to hold it in the foam, because I, I just have a sneaking suspicion that the weight of the foam board with the sound actuator on there will eventually vibrate its way out. So by adding a little bit of glue and then forcing your nail a little bit further into the foam board, um, it's probably going to be a little more stable. And then I put a little dab of glue on the outside of that nail just to make sure that again it's it's completely sealed and had something uh, in there so that nail can't back itself out or the panel can't vibrate away from the nail because these panels are actually going to be hanging just by fishing string uh, from my ceiling um, so again you know you just want to make sure you got uh, enough surface area on the nail and enough glue to make sure that they're not going to go anywhere again I haven't really tested um, you know different mounting techniques or anything like that uh, basically just pop a hole fill it with glue jam your nail in there and put a little dab of glue on the outside um, they seem to be working fine I mean my uh, my panel has been hanging for months now so this this little system seemed to work all right so again just repeat that process with your other panels you know pop a hole fill it with glue put the nail in glue the nail in place and now for a word from our sponsor oh another money saving offer this time for music lovers a convenient way to get RCA Victor record albums your attention please 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 When you buy the coupon book, you get any 398 RCA Victor album in your dealer's store free. Save twenty-four dollars. Three albums. <laughs> Ask for it tomorrow. And we're back. So, we've got our panel, it's dried, and now we need to find the placement of our sound actuator. It does not go in the center of the panel. It depends on the three-fifths, two-fifths rule. Uh, for some reason, acoustically, this just works out better for these panels. Uh, this is a two by two square, or 24 inch by 24 inch square, so three-fifths of 24 is 14.4, two-fifths of 24 is 9.6, so you're gonna wanna measure that out. Now, if you're using impractical Yankee math, 14.4 inches is one foot, two inch in 1330 seconds. 9.6 inches is nine and 1930 seconds. Uh, metric sanity, uh, just go 24 centimeters from one side, about 37 centimeters from the other, and you'll be all set. So once you've got that marked out, go ahead and get your sound actuator that's arrived in the mail from wherever you ordered it from and you'll see this little doohickey uh, is kind of looks like a little tiny speaker um, but it uh, it's just a little vibrating uh, mechanism I think that's just kind of like a magnet and a coil in there very similar to a cone speaker uh, but go ahead and now peel off that 3m sticker piece on there the the material underneath this is extremely sticky, so uh, do kind of be careful when you're taking off the paper. Uh, one, it's going to be a little bit difficult to get started if you don't have fingernails, as you can see me struggling. Do not touch that clear cone piece uh, or the clear ring around there. It will stick to your fingers and it'll probably hurt when you take it off. So go ahead and now that you've got your spot marked out, press it on there. Um, honestly, if I were to do this again, just go ahead and put your speaker cable on there before you stick the actuator down um, because those little tines coming off the actuator are, are pretty small. It's kind of, kind of a pain to, uh, to wire it up when it's up against the, uh, the panel there. So you can kind of see me like fiddling around a little bit trying to get this thing to fit right. If you're really, really fancy, um, go ahead and put some shrink wrap on there. 
um, just be careful with the heat gun so you don't melt your foam. I just use electrical tape. Again, it's it's wires. You don't want those wires to touch, and you don't want exposed cables. So uh, I just went ahead and wrapped a little electrical tape around there, and uh, you know, it seemed to be good. So then the last thing you're gonna do, hang them. Uh, just go ahead and you know, I just put some thumbtacks in the ceiling, use a little fishing wire, and and hung them up. Plug them in and let it rip.